How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Dip Discovery. Today we're looking at the Corsair MP600 Core M.2 NVMe SSD. You know, this is the latest PCI 4.0 SSDs. They're really, really quick. And so let's just open up the box, see what we get inside and just give you a quick look at it really. All right, so this is the MP600 Core. Now, you probably will be getting it, you know, in the store or maybe online or what have you, but it comes with a nice packaging. Of course, they do a good, good job with their packaging, all that kind of jazz. Um, you know, tells you all about the, the quick specs, you know, 480K IOPS, uh, random uh, four kilobyte write, uh, up to 200K IOPS, four kilobyte random read, and we've got um, a sequential read of up to 4,700 uh, 4, megabits per second and a sequential write of 1950 megabits per second. So it was a really fast SSD, this bad boy. Um, and it's also got the um, uh, aluminium shroud on the thing. So uh, let's open up the thing and let's see what we get inside. So let's open up that. Um, and there we go. So we've got nice foam packaging. And I like that they give you a little cut out there as well. You see that, you know, to kind of grab it with your fingers and pull it out, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so we've got the safety information inside the box as well. So, you know, how not to blow up your new SSD when you're installing it, anti-static and all that. Um, we've got the M.2 SSD instruction manual. This tells you how to install it, you know, which correct way of kind of uh, inserting it inside the slot, all that kind of jazz. And then obviously you've got the nice uh, foam packet here, which houses, safely houses the SSD. So let's pull this thing out here. And that's about it. Okay, so you know what? It's uh, it's a really nice piece of kit. You know, it feels really solid and well made. It's um, it's all aluminium um, heatsink on it, so you know it keeps it really uh, cool uh, while it's uh, operating. Now it has got a bit of height to this thing. Um, it's probably about a centimeter and a half tall. So you, it, it might depend if you can fit it, depending on where you're putting it on your motherboard. Because for example, you know, you can get some M.2 slots that sit right uh, behind where your GPU is. And if that is the case, you may not be able to fit that. Um, and you probably won't want to fit it there anyway, because if the graphics card is running really hot, it's just going to be sat on there, you know, uh, eating up all that heat. So this is probably better off suited to the one that kind of goes at the top very slot where you tend not to be covered with the graphics card. Um, but yeah, that's something to bear in mind. It's got a nice little bit of weight to it. It feels very solid and well made, but Corsair stuff generally is. Um, if you uh, fit, uh, have a look at the uh, actual shroud here, um, you can see that it's got a really nice kind of gun metal look to it, um, which looks really sleek, really nice. Uh, it's good to see. Uh, this is the one terabyte version as well, um, so pretty decent capacity, um, you know, standard M.2 uh, NVMe size as well, the Gen 4. Um, so yeah, it looks looks really smart, I do like it. Um, so this is going into a build that I'm doing um, for my friend. Um, also worth noting is it's got these little clips on the sides here um, and the actual SSD uh, shroud is uh, looks like it's removable. If you pull back on them clips, you can pull that out and you can just remove the SSD from the actual uh, cooling uh, assortment altogether, which is quite cool and handy if maybe you want to put on your own cooler or you do want to place it in, a, in an area behind um, a shrouded uh, a graphics card. So that's something to bear in mind. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, uh, let me know what you think of this, of this thing. Um, this is just a quick unboxing really and a, and a bit of a look at it. I'm not gonna be doing any benchmarks on this thing. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think of it, if you got one. Uh, what do you think of the look of it? And uh, let me know in the comments uh, what, what you say. Um, there's a where to buy link in there as well. And if you found this video useful, uh, please drop me a like and subscribe. Catch you next time.